Hey everyone, welcome back to 2D It's Review. I'm Caleb. I'm Hannah, and boy do we have a lot to talk about, because the MCU, Marvel, they just killed Comic-Con right now. <laughs> like, just... It's theirs now. It's, they've, they've renamed it the San Diego Marvel Con. <laughs> yeah, like, it's ridiculous, all the information that came out of their panel tonight. Uh, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Really um, quick, though. Uh, please subscribe. Don't you dare cut me off. I'm cutting her off. <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate it. And we are going to be giving something back to our subscribers because we are thankful for everyone that we get. You get a car. And you don't just <laughs> no. I mean, maybe she's giving you guys cars. I don't know. I would like to give myself, well, myself a car. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're going to be doing a Amazon gift card giveaway once we hit 750 subscribers. So you hitting that button will get, get us one step closer. And then we'll do a video about how you can enter for a chance to win that Amazon gift card. Um, so yes, please subscribe. Yeah, uh, but okay, so. Anyways, back to the news and craziness. It's, yeah, so they announced phase, phase four. Or some of it at least. At least some of it, the two next years, couple of years. Two years out. Through 2021. Um, so just, I'm just gonna kinda go, should we go right off the bat or you wanna go one by one? Let's just do one by one, let's just. All right, so up first is Black, Black Widow. Widow. Not a May, surprise. Not a surprise, May 1st, 2020. We all knew it was coming. They saved it for last because there's a teensy tiny bit of footage that they could show. They've only been filming for 30 days. <laughs> so not a, not a whole lot of footage to show. It was probably like all like stick figure like people. <laughs> they were just like, yeah, this is what's going to happen. Like her on a green screen and they're like. <laughs> um, so yeah, Black Widow movie. Not a surprise. Still not sure on the timeline of it yet. Obviously it's a prequel because Black Widow is dead. Spoiler if you haven't seen Endgame. Um, so yeah, we don't not really sure too sure on the timeline. There's been rumors that it would be set between Civil War and Infinity War. There's been rumors that it's gonna be set, set like pre Iron prequel. Man 2. Yeah. Um don't know. got a good cast though. We yes. got David Harbour. Who's, you know, Hopper from Stranger Things, Rachel Weiss. She was Hellboy in the most recent one, but I think yeah. people are trying to forget that. <laughs> um, uh, Florence, and I don't know how to say her last name, Q, Poo, I don't know how to say it, but she was in, like, I've seen her from <laughs> Fighting With My Family. She was really good in that. So, great cast. Um, obviously, Scarlett Johansson. Task, um, Taskmaster, Taskmaster was confirmed. revealed to be in it. Um, so, I don't know. I'm excited, but also... It's, you know, she's dead, so... <laughs> yeah, I had the same kind of feeling. Like, they, it already leaked that Black Widow was going to be a movie before Endgame had come out, and I was like, oh, okay, like, I'm on board for that. Like, her character must be safe then. And then, yeah. I, and then after watching it, I was like, oh, she died. So I'm like, this is gonna, clearly going to be a prequel. Then I'm like... I don't care for it. I mean, I still, I, like, I'll still go see it, and it'll probably still be a really good movie. But I feel like it doesn't have the same, won't have the same response, won't have the same weight to the movie because her story arc is over. We know how her story arc ends. Unless this movie is just set in, with her like in the Soul Stone, just kind of floating around with, <laughs> with Gamora. Her and Gamora have a little buddy comedy. So um, uh, will it be a good movie? Most likely. Most likely. Am I as excited for it as I would? I be more excited for it if she had survived Endgame and this was going to be a post Endgame movie? Absolutely. Or yeah. even like kind of like a prequel that goes into a post Endgame, you know, where you kind of flash Something. back to kind of seeing her origins. But I feel like um, this is kind of more of a fan service movie because people have been like screaming for a Black, Black Widow, Widow movie, but I feel like maybe it's too late. But that's just our first take on it. Yeah. Um, well, once they start doing trailers and, you know, things and we find out more about it, you know. I mean, like, I'm still excited for it, and I want to see it, um, but we don't, we don't really know anything about it. The only footage, the little bit of footage was there was, like, a hand-to-hand -hand combat scene, Makes and <laughs> they were, like, um, Florence Pugh, Pugh, whatever her last name is pronounced, um, her character, and I think Black Widow, they were, like, in Budapest. Like, that was the only, like, little things that I read about what the footage was. Um, so not a whole lot. They've only been filming for a month. We'll see what happens when a trailer comes out. But on to the next announcement. Also uh, not a big surprise. Um, the Eternals. The Eternals. Yeah, they've been talking about the Eternals for a while. Um, that is set for November 6th, 2020. Um, right around my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Um, so some of the casting, it's a good cast. Like, I'm not going to lie. So we got Richard Madden from Game of Thrones. Um, Salma Hayek. 
I was hoping Angelina Jolie was just a rumor, but apparently she's in it. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of her, so I could have done without it. Um, I'm going to try not to let her ruin it for me. Uh, there was rumors that Millie Bobby Brown from Stranger Things was going <laughs> to really be in it. I'm really sad that she's not in it. So, yeah, or I was kind of bummed. it's not confirmed yet. Like, they yeah. Didn't confirm it. They, um, they keep that it they didn't reps. announce. Um, there were some others, too, um, you know, obviously announced, but we were just kind of giving you just a few of them. Uh, this, um, is, this movie is going to feature the MCU's first death superhero. Yes. Um, so, I mean, one, I mean, I feel like that's something that's going to be pretty cool. I'm interested to see how, uh, you know, how they will incorporate that into the story and, like, you know, of, you know they might be incorporating, like, sign language um, as, as a means of how, you know, she's going to communicate with the other other you know people it's like it's a team movie team kind of movie where there's almost like a guardians of the galaxy type yeah. thing so you know i'm interested to see you know is there going to be subtitles is there going to be you know how is that how exactly is she going to be portrayed on the screen i'm really i'm really curious to see how you know how they're going to uh portray that and what that will look like in in the final uh, product yeah so you know it'll be interesting um you know they're kind of introducing new people into the mcu we're not just sticking with you know, people we've had, obviously there's going to be no, like, Captain America, no Chris Evans, no Robert Downey Jr. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how the MCU is going to shape going forward. Uh, next up, Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That is coming out February 12th, 2021. Um, I'm, I don't know anything <laughs> about this character. The only thing that I do know is that they announced that the real Mandarin was going to be in it, so that's kind of <laughs> cool. Um, so, and that was actually, like, trending. They're like, finally, the real Mandarin. Like, everybody was just excited that they were actually, um, gonna have, because, you know, the, the Mandarin and Iron Man 3, people were not excited about. Um, yeah, like, when that, we were, like, live, like, trying to find we people were who were... We were refreshing Twitter every, like, two seconds. I was like, come on, somebody give me some information. And, like, and, like the blog that I was following, they're like, you know, they, they announced that it was, you know, the title or the subtitle was, um, The Legend of the Ten Rings. And I was like, the Ten Rings? I was like, it was like what, like, the Mandarin gonna be in it? And she's like, oh, the real Mandarin's gonna be in it. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm like, okay. Well, yeah. yes. Um, don't know much about the cast. I mean, they didn't announce them. The only one that I named that I recognized was Aquafina. Um, the other ones... Hey, welcome. <laughs> um, you know, I don't have any preconceived notions. I don't think I've seen them in anything. Um, the only reason I'm not saying their names is because I'm not sure how to pronounce them and I don't want to completely butcher them. Um, but, you know, I'm excited to see this, you know, it's like a different kind of Marvel movie and I'm kind of excited to see be, what it looks like. It'll be interesting to see because, you know, we've had a lot of Kung Fu related in the Netflix shows, Daredevil. Which we'll get to um, in <laughs> Uh, Iron Fist and movies like, you know, and the TV series like that, it focused heavily on like that type of fighting style. So I'm curious to see how that will translate onto the big screen. And, you know, and hopefully he's, uh, the fighting style looks better than it did in Iron know, Fist. Shang Chi is supposed to be like the Kung Fu master. He's supposed to be, you know, even, you know, you could probably, I mean, you could definitely take the Iron Fist from the Netflix show. Yeah, because he was. Like, uh, I mean, <laughs> anybody could have taken it. <laughs> Seriously, he kept losing. I was like, aren't you supposed to be the best? Anyway. Um, but so it'll be, you know, it is a new. A new genre within the MCU because we haven't had you know a, a kung fu type style uh, movie yet to date. So this yeah. this is like you know a new you know Marvel in the, as, as they should be yeah. in Phase Four. You know they wanted to give us things that we've never seen before because they keep giving us the same things over and over again. We're getting yeah. bored. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, this yeah, is definitely something different. Um, after that we got okay. So this this, this is where the one. titles start to get not great. Okay. Um, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So if you shorten that, it's either Doctor Strange in the Mom, which is awful, or DS in the Mom. Still not great. Um, but it's <laughs> it's supposed to be the MCU's first, like, scary movie, um, which he's not thrilled about. I'm fine. I don't mind, like, scary I, movies. I, I um, just, I don't like... The horror genre. I don't go see horror movies. I don't go see anything. I, I just when I saw the trailer for New Mutants and it was going to be that same genre and stuff. I was like, this might be the first superhero movie that I don't go see in theaters or even see ever. I was like, I just I'm just not a fan of all of that. And so I have mixed feelings about it because I am super excited that Scarlet Witch is going to be in it. Yes, Scarlet Witch, Wanda is going to be in it. Which I'm happy. Is awesome. I'm happy to see that they're still going to be incorporating. You know, she's not getting her own solo movie, but they're still finding ways to incorporate her into, in, the, movies. In, into the movies. Because yeah. I didn't want her character to be done. Yeah, because I really like Wanda, so I'm and glad so, that she's 
going to be in there a little bit. And I feel like her, team, her like teaming up or whatever it's going to be with Doctor Strange, I feel like is the right the right course at least for phase four i feel like her you know she is in the sense a magical being and dr strange being the same um so i feel like them kind of fitting together as like a duo would make sense and so i you know i am really excited about that so i do have mixed feelings about it because you know and the villain was revealed to be nightmare so i understand why they're kind of going the horror route because you know just, I mean, even the name of the villain is Nightmare, right? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, it's a comedy. Um, but yeah, so super excited that Wanda's in it. Um, like I said, I don't mind that if it's like scary. It's still going to be PG-13, so I don't know how much they're going to push the envelope with that. Um, but I'm okay with it. Um, it'll be an interesting take um, on it. You know, the whole multiverse thing. Um, that can be tricky, and I'm a little concerned about that. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens once it gets going. You know, we still, we still got a lot of time before that one. Uh, next up. Okay. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm covering my shirt right now. So, <laughs> first of all, this might be the worst title because if you say it fast, which I don't know if that was intentional, but it doesn't sound great. So, Thor Love and Thunder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> not a great title, uh, but it's very Taika. Um, so... I, I'm probably, this is probably the Marvel movie that I'm least excited about in a very is. long time. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah this, you know, as far as Phase 4 movies are concerned, like, this is even below the horror movie, and I'm not a fan of yeah. horror Yeah, so movies. the thing that's got me excited is that Natalie Portman is returning as Jane Foster. She's going to be Lady Thor. Um, so, like, I'm excited that she's back. I'm not so which, which was a surprise. Yeah. Like, I, was, I, was like, I was like, wait, what? She came out on stage like holding, holding Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that so was, that was I'm excited surprise. about that. Valkyrie's obviously going to be in it. Um, I'm sure Korg and like you know those will be in it. Um, I'm just I'm not a fan. I'm not a big fan of Ragnarok. So having Taika write and direct yeah. it isn't exactly like oh sweet. We, we, I know. we have a very unpopular opinion of Thor Ragnarok. It was it's in my bottom five MCU movies. It was just. I, I just was not I a just, fan of it. You know, with the subject matter that it was covering, it didn't make sense that it was, like, this freaking comedy. And I was um, not a fan of Taika as the director, and so, I mean, I knew he, if they ever did a Thor 4 that he, he was going to be coming back. Yeah. So it's no surprise that he's going to be the writer and director of it, but I just was not a fan of his take on the character. Yeah, he and definitely dumbed Thor down a lot, which kind of was kind of so. All in all, like, I'm just excited. That's the excited. least excited. Like, the only thing that's making me excited is that I'm a big fan of Natalie Portman, so, like, I'm excited to see what they're going to do with Jane and Thor, you know, well, her ass Thor, and then Thor also. Um, and another question that this raises, I don't know if you were... No. Oh, okay. I mean, I might um, have, but go. <laughs> uh, another question this raises is that this is going to be released, or at least, you know, as far as we know, before Guardians of, of the Galaxy Volume 3, and oh, okay. the way yeah. that Endgame ended... Thor was going to be it, as it Guardians appeared, of the Galaxy. Yeah, I thought... It was like, oh, I thought for sure, like, oh, he's not getting his own movie, but he's going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, and that's how he's going to kind of continue on in the next phase, is that he's just going to be popping up in people's movies. And so now it's like, well, for, Thor 4 is coming out... I'm not going to say the title because it's dumb. Uh, Thor, <laughs> Thor 4 <laughs> is coming out before Guardians, and so then I'm like... Is he so? Is he not going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three? Is he, Did is he Star just... Lord like kick him out of the ship? <laughs> and he's like, I can't stand you. Get out. Um, um, so I, yeah, or at the very least, I thought it would have been the other way around. I thought that Guardians of the Galaxy, Galaxy Three would come out first, and they would have him in it, and then at the end, maybe he would go his own way, and then that would set up for a Thor Four. But they're not doing it that way, so I don't. I don't. You know, that's yeah, that's the question knows? that I, when I saw. I was like that. Yeah, that doesn't fit the way I thought it was going to. I mean, they'll probably just be like a throwaway line about how you know he didn't he got sick of being on their ship or something like something dumb. Um, should we do this or do this last? Uh, let's do that one last, I guess. Um, let's, let's just hop into that. All right, so let's go into the Disney Plus series. Um, these have all been previously announced. Or um, not, not officially, but they've been spread announced. around. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we got the Falcon and the Winter Soldier um, with the villain Zemo. He's coming back. Um, there was rumors, like, it had been announced that, like, he was going to be in it, and then there was rumors that Agent 13, Sharon Carter, was going to be in it. So he's been confirmed as the villain, but there's been no mention of Emily Van Camp's Sharon Carter, so I'm interested to see if she's going to be popping in at all. Um, you know, we'll know more. That comes out 
in the fall of 2020. So next, you know, we got like a year. Um, yeah, I'm kind of excited for that show. I, I mean, you know, I like, you know, I like the Falcon in in certain doses. <laughs> um, and you know, Bucky, of course, like, hello. <laughs> that sounded a little more than I meant it to. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Um, and then next up is a very bad title for this show, WandaVision. I feel like I'm watching like an old movie where it's like, this was made in WandaVision. <laughs> like, um, so it's a terrible title. Um, in television, no, it's WonkaVision. <laughs> I know, yeah, WonkaVision, <laughs> like... Um, uh, they should but, have called it Scarlet Witch in the vision. I know. Uh, but they did reveal that Monica Rambeau will be in it. Um, she was the daughter is, of yeah. Maria Rambeau from Captain Marvel. She's also Spectrum. It was I think she was so Captain Marvel at one point in the comics, too. Um, I feel like everybody was everybody in the comics. I, mean, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, I feel like Steve Rogers was Captain Marvel at some point <laughs> in the comics. So, um, so yeah, so she's going to be in it. Um, which, okay, so I'm confused on the timeline of this movie because, you know, he's the dead. Show. Or the show, yeah. Because, you know, uh, Vision's dead. Um, yeah, we're getting an adult Monica Rambeau. So that makes it feel like present it has to be, time. Yeah, it has to be set after Endgame, I feel um, like. So, but then, you know, Vision's dead. So <laughs> I, don't, I have no idea and, when this movie's taking and they place. Were, and they refuse to answer that question at the panel. Yeah, so. They, so they're not telling you exactly how You know, how this, this isn't is coming out into... until spring of 2021. So there's still they a lot of time <laughs> to figure out. I mean, there's been rumors that there was going to be, like, take place in the 50s. And they were going to kind of do stuff like that time travel are they gonna branch off into another timeline i have no idea i um, hope not i feel like it's already done <laughs> so we'll you know as I, we get closer obviously there's gonna be trailers and they're gonna be revealing more but um, all in all i am excited for the show i am they, excited for the show i'm excited and, for all the shows one in particular but but then they said that the wanda vision since wanda will be appearing in doctor strange that this series will kind of lead and play a role into doctor strange so they are making it all connected, unlike the Netflix shows where they don't mention. And you know, Netflix show kind of very briefly mentioned the movies. Agents of Shield will mention it sometimes, but like nothing mentions the um, TV shows. But yeah, um, so this will actually. They said that the One Vision will actually lead into. Well, Doctor and all Strange, of these, like all of these series, except for maybe the What If, are all going to be canon. Like they're going to be a continuation. Well, right. Into... But ones like which the next series was Loki. Except for yeah, these like two. like that one is. Is canon, but it doesn't it doesn't lead it doesn't affect anything. Yeah. Like there's no in yeah, fact so, that yeah. one's canon, but in a different timeline. In a different timeline, yeah. So Loki is also spring of 2021. Um, all they announced was that it was going to be Endgame's Loki, where he takes the tesseract and then tesseract and then disappears. So from the from the 20 um, from 2012 or yeah the 20 yeah the 2012 Loki. Is and what the movie's going to be about. And Tom Hiddleston had come out and said, like, you know, it's that, it's that Loki. It's that Loki. So he's not, he's, he hasn't learned the things that he learned up until Infinity War when his character died. Is that he's still the villainous Loki from the Avengers movie. And that, you know, he doesn't have that same character development that we saw in the MCU. This is now going to be that alternate timeline that they created when they went back in time. Um, so it's going to be focusing on that. So there's going to be no real, no real impact. So, I it's mean, just, it might just be a fun, fun show. Series. Yeah. Um, next up is a series that I'm really looking forward to. Me too. What If. So, uh, lots of MCU characters are coming back to... This is an animated series. It's going to be their first animated. Um, a lot of the characters are coming back with... We didn't see Evans or Robert Downey Jr.'s faces on the giant but board. I could have sworn... I mean, it's, it was rumored. This it was, was rumored. This was before it had been officially announced by Marvel. But it's been rumored that Chris Evans was going to reprise his voice as... Uh, Steve Bucky because one of the episodes was going to be a what if Steve never got frozen, never became Captain America, but but, but Peggy became but Peggy. Yeah, Captain America. Bucky. Uh, Bucky. <laughs> what, what if uh, Steve had never become Captain America and Peggy, Peggy had, became, yeah. and then uh, Howard Stark was going to create an Iron Man type suit for Steve Rogers, for Steve, and yeah. he was going to be like, honestly, I'm, I'm here for that. But So he wasn't on the board. Who knows if they're maybe saving that for D23 announcement. We're going to be there, hopefully. Yeah, and um, they have both of them come out. We're like, yeah. <laughs> we, yeah, we got it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so like they showed, the, the thing basically showed almost everybody that's like. We saw, um, what's his name as Thanos. Yeah, um, it had Josh Brolin. It had Neil McDonough as um, Dum Dum Dugan. It had the young Howard Stark, um, Dominic. Oh, I can't think of what his name is. Um, 
but you know, you uh, had Michael well. Douglas, you had Paul Rudd, you had, I mean, basically everybody is going to be, you know, you had Sebastian Stan and... And it's just going to be a fun um, animated series. Yeah, where, about what if. Like, about what, what if, if this what person if? did this and this person played this character? Um, Natalie Portman's in it. You know, there's... You know, yeah. everybody. What, what if, you know... You know, what if Jane Foster was worthy back in the first Thor movie? And it's just, you know, probably little 30-minute animated episodes that are just, you know, just fun and you know, just pokes yeah. at, you know, like, you know, because fans, we talk about this kind of stuff all the time when we're watching movies, like, well, what if this had happened yeah. instead? What if this had happened? Um, so they did announce that Jeffrey Wright will voice the Watcher for that What If series. And he'll be kind of like the... The narrator. The narrator. Yeah. Um, which makes, makes complete sense. sense. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the next one, oh yeah, so what if will be summer of 2021? The next one is Hawkeye, which is fall of 2021. Um, they did say it'll include Kate Bishop, which I mean... It's like his apprentice. Yeah, so it kind of makes sense because she'll be the future Hawkeye in the movies, I would assume. Um, and they said, they did say that it would cover his time as Ronin, which I'm less excited about. Which um, maybe it might just be flashbacks. It might be, I mean, who knows how they might explain it. But, I mean, or I'm how sure they might Jeremy Renner's it. like, oh, I have to get that haircut again. Like, oh, man, guys. <laughs> what a CGI. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, it'll be interesting how they're going to, you know, kind of introduce Kate Bishop into it. And there's no, they don't haven't cast her yet, so we don't know. Um, who, who she is playing. or, you know, when they didn't announce how long any of these series are going to be, how many episodes or anything like that. Yeah, I, I mean, they're still they, they far said, enough away that they I, have time. I believe that they said, or at least it's been rumored, that they're going to be short, short series, like six to eight episodes for, yeah. each, for each season. You know, or, you know, who knows if they're going to do more than one season. They might do some for some and not for others. Yeah, I think it probably depends on their on the schedules and on the movies and like what they're going to kind of do. Um, so at the end of the panel, they brought everybody out onto the stage that was, you know, previously announced. Everybody was wearing Black Widow hats. Because that was the last. That was the last one that was announced. announced. Um, and and then, then all of a sudden they dropped the bomb. They dropped the bomb. Blade is being made. They didn't say if it was a movie or if a TV show. I assume a movie. I don't know. Um, it didn't say. It didn't say, but they did announce that it was. I'm going to say his name wrong, and I apologize. Mahers Mahersala Ali, um, who was Cottonmouth and Luke Cage. So I would expect an announcement that they're going to say that the Netflix series are not canon. Because there's been talk that they want to use Daredevil at some point in the movies. In the stuff. movies, um, so I'm gonna ex yeah, I'm gonna ex expect that announcement at some point where they're gonna be like, yeah, those aren't canon, especially since Cottonmouth is now Blade. <laughs> um, <laughs> Which that was a good casting choice. It for was Blade. a good casting choice. I do have to say, I'm okay with that. Okay, so I haven't seen the original Blade. I, I know either. you guys are gonna get all mad at us because like, how could you guys be nerd that, fans of the just, MCU? That was just before my superhero time. <laughs> yeah, um, and I just never went back to watch. So it. I mean, I'm sure we'll watch him at some point, but just from what I've seen of it, I do feel like he's he's pretty good cast. Um, as that, so I'm, I'm okay with the casting. Um, and then also, as like a brief, like, oh, we're leaving, they also announced that in production or in pre production or whatever, or it's coming soon, it's coming soon, Black Panther 2, Captain Marvel 2, Mutants, which I assume is just X Men, um, Fantastic Four, and Guardians of the Galaxy 3. So for all the people that were freaking out because there was no Black Panther 2 and no Captain Marvel 2, it's like, well, they're coming. They're only not saying, like, that's two, <laughs> two years. years. Um, which, which at first, the blog that I was following... Oh, me too. I was, they one had, I was following also. So they had all, you know, they just had the dates up there where they didn't say they what, what they were. What they it they just were. said, you know, un, or, you know, untitled, you know, this, um, you know, this, this, and that. And there was 10 slots over the next two years. And so the blog that I was following and on Twitter and everything, everyone's like, I can't believe we're getting 10 movies I know. over the next I was two like, years. We're not, I, was like, look at, I was like, look at the things that it's showing. <laughs> I was like, we're not getting 10 movies. So I was like, some had certain dates and then the others some would just, just say like, fall. fall. So I was like, the ones with dates are going to be the movies and the ones that say fall, spring are just going to be the TV series. Yeah, I'm glad exactly to see that was. I was right. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then there were some people that were like, we're getting seven movies in 2021. And I was like, no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been too much. It would have like, ten, movies, ten in movies in two years, years would have been too much. Like that's like every two three months that uh, another one just popping out. And like, it's like as much really, as I enjoy these movies, that like that it would just be overkill. Like you don't want to burn through these too quickly. Um, so like giving us short little series in between movies to kind of tie us over. Yeah, to kind of tie us over, especially in since some instances we're getting like two in spring of twenty twenty one. So that's kind of nice. So I mean, um, as a takeaway, I would say the biggest thing that even though the, the movie as a whole it doesn't thrill me the biggest surprise and the biggest almost enjoyment for this was to know that scarlet witch was going to be in doctor strange oh and see for me it was that natalie portman was back 
But I'm also excited that she, because I love the Wanda character, so I'm glad that she's kind of popping up in other stuff. Um, and that because I knew and it wasn't just going to be the Wanda Wanda Vision. Yeah, because I was like, are we just going to get this Wanda Vision? And like, that's it. Like, are we just going to get rid of her character? So I'm glad that she's in Doctor Strange. I think. The biggest surprise for me is that Natalie Portman was returning. I mean, that was definitely a big surprise. Because well. I was just like, what? That, that might be the bigger surprise, but I feel like the more pleasant satisfying. surprise, the more satisfying for surprise you. was yeah. yeah, was Scarlet Witch for me. I am happy that, that Natalie Portman's going to be back in it. Um, Because they kind of, I mean, I, I understand why that, she... It's unfortunate that movie, but... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, I understand, like, why she disappeared, because <laughs> they, you know, they wanted to keep Thor more in Asgard and doing that stuff and it just didn't you know it's like it's hard to incorporate but now her. she's Lady Thor now she's gonna be Thor um which so how do they explain that I no I have no idea how does she become worthy like, <laughs> and how does she have Mjolnir just really became worthy like alright um, like, but uh, you know I was also excited to see you know hear about the real Mandarin um popping up um I mean there was very little that I was dissatisfied in hearing other than Love and Thunder <laughs> and, Love and Thunder <laughs> Um, and WandaVision, the title of it. The title of it. WandaVision, um, that's such a bad title. I hope, I hope some of these are working titles. Coming to that. you in WandaVision. Like, it's just... Yeah, um, I'm kind of, like, knowing that Zemo, and I guess he has, like, the mask, and he's going to be, like, full villain Zemo, um, it's going to be in the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, kind of makes me a little more excited for that series. Because I, I actually, really did like him. I did like him in um, Civil War. Um, so hopefully they don't so, mess up his character. <laughs> um... You know, so it'll be interesting. I mean, the least... I mean, I guess the Loki series is probably the least, only because it has no future implications unless they're going to create, like, an alternate reality where they're going to start movies, you know, like, alternate timeline where they're just going to start doing movies in that timeline. The ultimate, um, the ultimate universe. Yeah, so, like, because his series basically has no, like, no basis Which I feel like is, is what we need for a Loki series if they were going to do one. I mean, true. You could be like, everyone, he's alive! Cause, yeah, because when, <laughs> when they, when they, when they you know, got rumored and pretty much conf unofficially confirmed that Loki series was happening, everybody in the comments was like, I knew he was alive! Like, yeah! yeah. And I was like, he, they can't bring him they back. They can't bring yeah. him back. Yeah. Not in that capacity. I was like, I would just ruin that whole opening sequence of Infinity War. Yeah. Um, but so, all in all, I mean, a very eventful... This is just two years. A very <laughs> like, eventful really Comic-Con for Marvel. Uh, I was kind of hoping they would save this for D23 next month, since we were going to be there. there. <laughs> we were going to kind of get into that panel, and we still might, because who knows what else they're going to know. I mean, yeah, so I was a little disappointed that they were... Because we bought tickets specifically for it, because we're like, they're going to announce Phase 4, D23. Oh, like, I was like, oh, like there's no way they're going to do it at Comic-Con. Like, like, they're going to do They already it skipped Comic-Con last year to do their own D23, I was like, or the year before, whatever it was, yeah. two years ago. And so I was like, they, oh, like they're for sure going to do it at D23, because that's their own thing. That's their and own then, con. Yeah. And, then and then when they, they announced this, I was like, oh, can I get my money back? <laughs> I know. I was like, we bought tickets for that. We bought tickets like a year and a half ago. <laughs> I know. I was so, like, man. Um, but, I mean, we'll still go and spend money we don't have. Um, which is what they want. But yeah, so I mean, that's all we got on this. If you hear our neighbors that are screaming outside. Um, okay, child. Um, anyways. Yeah, so. He just, um, he just heard the news. And, uh... <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, love and thunder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so let us know what you guys thought of all these announcements. It was a lot. We were trying to keep this video short, but it's, it's hard impossible. because there's so much. There were so much. It's like a two-hour panel. We're trying to squeeze into like I know. 20 I'm minutes like, of eh. talking. Um, but yeah, so the next couple of years are gonna be really good for Marvel um, and really good for Marvel fans. So yeah, let us know what you guys thought in the comments. What you're excited about? Disappointed? Did you hate some of these titles as much as we did? <laughs> um, were the things that you would hoped had been scheduled into the next two years? like sooner than maybe they are or you know anything like that just let us know in the comments like subscribe and thank you for watching